Hello, this is Professor BRB, and in this video we will be exporting a document with various interactive features to interactive PDF. And um, the first thing you want to do is go to the interactive PDF workspace, and you will see that some of the things that are in the digital publishing workspace are missing. For example, the object states panel. And that is because multi-state objects depend on flash technology. And Unfortunately, Interactive PDF does not support Flash. So some things that we can do in InDesign, such as animation and multi-state objects, will not work on Interactive PDF. And this kind of list of panels here will give you a hint of what is going to work. Uh, and I'll also be kind of trying to clarify that. Uh, some of the things that do work, and let's go to um, Object Interactive, SWF Preview, so we can preview this document and see what features we have here. I'm going to go to Set Document Preview Mode and Play. And you can see I have a interactive table of contents, and InDesign created that for me. Um, I have page navigation buttons, which have a click. You can hear that click. And I've also added a sound on page load uh, for the next page, which you'll hear when the page loads. I have a text anchor here, which takes me to a specific piece of text. I have a hyperlink here that opens up a web page for me. And moving back to my train travel page, I have... Well, just be aware when you put a, a sound on page load, it will play every single time that page loads. Uh, and here is a video, which when I click on this, I get my controller and the video plays and the sound plays great. So some of the things that you might want to consider uh, checking before you export your document is you might want to look for any errors. And notice down here in my pre-flight panel, it says one error. And let me check that out and open up my pre-flight panel and see what my mistake is. It's going to tell me right there, text frame. And I go here, and you can see I have overset text. Look at this little plus sign. That means that there's some text that isn't showing here. So I'm going to open that up and try to resolve that. There, that's fixed. Excellent. Uh, some of the other things you might want to check is uh, do find font and see if you have any missing fonts here. And if you do, you can use this panel to substitute uh, a font that you do have if you have a missing font there. We're fine here. We don't have that problem. And it's always a good idea to take a look at your links panel because various interactive features such as sounds and videos are links just like uh, a photograph. And you need to check your links panel here and make sure that none of your links are missing. So we've, we've kind of looked at this and pre-flighted it, and it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and export. So we go to File, Export, and we want to choose Adobe PDF Interactive. Save. So um, our range of pages will be all. We want pages rather than spreads. We want to view after exporting. We want to embed page thumbnails. And uh, for view, we can just leave this to default. Um, and for layout, single page. I am not going to check open in full screen mode because some people don't like uh, the PDF to take over their, their screen. And I'm not going to include any page transitions, although you can right here 
uh, include page, tra page transitions. I'm not going to because those only work in full screen mode and um, so I'm just not going to use them in this case, but you can. Forms and media, this is extremely important that this radio button include all be selected and create tagged PDF. And I'll, I'll show you how this works um, after we export. Compression, JPEG is good. JPEG quality medium is quite adequate. Um, the default here is 72, but I usually raise it to 144 so that it can take advantage of uh, some of the higher resolution displays on computers and tablet devices such as the iPads that we have today. So click OK. And everything looks good here. And when we open this up, uh, you can see if I click in Acrobat Viewer here or an Acrobat, uh, the bookmark panel. Notice that InDesign created these bookmarks for us because we had created an interactive table of contents. And if you want to know how to do this, please uh, watch one of the earlier videos uh, in, in this series where we discuss how to create an interactive table of contents. And interactive TOC is working. I can also navigate here. I can navigate using my buttons. My on-page load uh, sound is playing. My video is playing. My text anchor is working. My hyperlinks are working right here, bring me to that web page. Uh, and all in all, uh, everything seems to be functioning quite well. Um, one thing that does kind of concern me is that sometimes I have noticed that the first time I click on a button in an interactive PDF, uh, the very first time I clicked on these, I don't know if you noticed, the sound, the little button click didn't work. But now it's working fine. So I think that this is a little bit of a bug in interactive PDFs. Uh, I'm not quite sure why that is. Um, another little bug that is kind of irritating is, you notice a little thing down here? That is my sound file. And even though I have that hidden underneath uh, a couple of layers of pictures and backgrounds, they still have a tendency to show up somehow. And I, I don't really understand why that is, but I'm hoping that it's something Adobe will be fixing. So this is a, a very handy little interactive PDF now, and you can take this file and email it or post it on a web page. Uh, you can uh, give it to people on disk and distribute it any way that you would inter uh, distribute a normal PDF. Uh, one thing to be aware of is that these buttons will disappear uh, in an iPad or um, another uh, tablet device or an iPhone. And uh, this is just a decision Apple has made that it doesn't want you to use these kinds of buttons and it wants you to use the swipe navigation. However, uh, these little links uh, will show up as bookmarks uh, on a iPad or other device. Uh, and we will discuss uh, in a future video how to preview this uh, so that you can see how it's going to look on an iPad. But for the moment, good luck making interactive PDFs. Uh, they are very useful uh, and a lot of fun to play with.